Julia and Adam are friends. Both of them have $1,000. Julia prefers low risk while Adam has a high risk appetite. Julia decided to put her $1,000 as a deposit in a bank. Banks are safe, so she has a lower risk. Taking less risk means being compensated by a lower return. So after one year, her savings will be $1,050. Adam decided to invest his $1,000 in technology shares. Shares are risky, so he has a higher risk. Taking high risk means being compensated by a higher return. So after one year, his investment will be $1,500. This means there is a positive relationship between risk and return. Higher risk leads to higher expected returns, and vice versa. Taking higher risk does not mean you will always generate higher returns. Risk means, on good days, risky investments generate higher returns compared to less risky investments. On bad days, they generate higher losses compared to less risky investments.